Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's James. Today we're going to be looking at 20 plumbing disasters, photos and videos that you have sent in to us at our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Comment below at the end of the video as to which photo or video you think is the worst plumbing disaster. Let's get on with the video guys. Hit the subscribe, hit the like and remember to hold tight. Let's do this. Before we get started with these dreadful plumbing disasters, I'd like you to know that the ITS sale has been extended until midnight on Monday, June the 27th. There are big savings on over a thousand products and with next day delivery seven days a week and a five star rating on Trustpilot, ITS is the only place you need to go to get some lovely sexy tools. Just make sure you don't drive there like I drove this ITS truck. So before you do anything else, remember, ITS sale now on. Let's get on with the video. In one, Brady Boy's customer needed to remember which stopcock to turn off, or as we can see, standard ISO with a bloody flexi on it. So look what they did, they printed out the picture and framed it. Now it's one thing printing it out and framing it, but what a beautiful ornate frame. In two, this is the definition of chucking it in. Lager Thompson sent us over this photo of a plumbing disaster. Someone's made a nice little table and they've even thought to put a little metal bracket fixing it to the floor and then whacked in a four tick tank with about a million different types of plumbing connection and fitting, none of which very good, none of it great. Even looking at that veneer, you can see where they've joined it together with little bits of wood. Everything's dreadful here. Thanks for finding this one, Lager Thompson. It's a great one. Thank you very much, babe. <laughs> In three, Leon Gardner sent this one over. This is an imploded tank. You tend to get this if you've got very thin copper cylinder tanks, kind of like the modern ones. And what happens is when you drain the system out, there's usually a blocked vent. So that means it's not at atmospheric pressure. Therefore, as soon as you start opening a tap or something, the only way for it to allow that pressure to eat is to suck it through the walls of the copper and obviously copper ain't gonna let that happen and this is what you end up with great find leon plumbing disaster but one we can all learn from as well in four the customer actually paid someone to do this first call property services found this after the plumber didn't have a core drill and took the next best route straight through the bottom edge of the sill through their lovely pvc opening door just notice they got some vimto as well and i really like vimto oh baby whoever did that was not a proper plumber we always have our core bits in the van and as you know, I call mine Jeremy. In five, Mrs. Plum Job found a customer who loves a choice of showers. I guess you could say this isn't 100% a plumbing disaster. They've done some nice chrome pipe work there, but for some reason used plastic clips. But we've also got a lovely bar mixer there as well and a nice electric shower, just in case you want that full body effect, which sometimes I need after I've been servicing oil boilers. Oh, baby. In six, wow, DD NRG Heating found this lovely water heater that's been fitted by someone who's probably watched some plumber parts videos in the past and thought they'd give it a go themselves using only JG speed fit and copper pipe which is possibly the most expensive way of doing it and they've come up with the worst result. Thanks DD NRG Heating for sending this through to us. You're a star. In seven, we're gonna leave this one up for you just to figure out what's going on. Sent in by Sana M Channa. Do you think this is photoshopped? Do you think this is real? Let us know in the comments below. In eight, and it's not 100% a plumbing disaster, but Afskul Kark, whatever name that is, sent us in this lovely bath tap here. This is why if you're ever doing work on a bathroom, you should do one of those augmented reality CAD designs with your lighting to make sure that the rebound of your halogen lights above don't make a reflection on the wall that looks somewhat phallic. In nine, sent in by A underscore Hobbs one. This is almost an optical illusion. You think those stairs are going straight into to the basement below a floor. But no, it's the jet black flooded floor of a tower block. Got to see this, a eh, Hobbs? We've all been there, we've all had to deal with it. That's why we're plumbers. But we come out and sort these problems out for our customers and get paid at the end of the day. In 10, Lynx Gas Man found another condensed pipe ready to freeze over in the winter. It's nice to see that they've used one meter's worth of insulation and about 50 tie wraps that they haven't even bothered to cut the tongues off. But that doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything. It looks absolutely dreadful. And if it's minus 12 outside for any amount of time, it's going to beat that insulation and guess what? Freeze that condense and make that boiler there go wrong. In 11, this is a legit photo that Tommy 
Tommy 432 took from a job that he took over. The previous plumbers decided to use offcuts of timber and expanding foam to make a freestanding bath. I mean, doesn't it look absolutely beautiful? I think, Tommy, you're going to need more than a 6 mil bit on your little boss drill down there, mate. This is a job for a sledgehammer, a kango, and a blank canvas. In 12, and for the uninitiated out there on plumber parts, this might not look like a plumbing disaster, but believe me, it is. This is the toilet where you can't get to anything. Imagine there's a leak underneath all that and you have to pull it all out and get it sorted. Oh, let's hope that plunger isn't actually there all the time as part of the furniture. Great find there, AJ Phillips 246. People, when you're installing a toilet, make sure you can get to the pipes afterwards to fix any leaks, because believe me, one day they will happen. At Lucky 13, this was sent in by LSL underscore mechanical. Who started this first, the plumber or the sparky? The thing is, we see loads of work like this underneath floorboards and up in lofts where people think no one's ever gonna find it. But then suddenly, a person who watches plumber parts and knows how to do plumbing properly because they're a qualified plumber or a fan of the channel, takes a picture of it and sends it through to us on our Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Great find, LSL Mechanical. I hope you ripped it all out and made your daily bread as well. In 14, I think I've shared this already, but I just had to share it again. This was sent in by Plumaroo. The customer never got the tower rail working, and now we know why. Cheeky, cheeky previous plumber or bathroom fitter. Very naughty. At 15, Dan John 84 sent us in this little ditty. Customers can do some interesting things. Dan was there to quote for a new boiler as the pilot light kept going out. The customer did this to stop it being blown out. Cover the flu, why don't you? Kill yourself, why don't you? Safe to say that Dan took that away. Guys, do not cover up any flu outlets. Always speak to a qualified oil or gas engineer. It's obvious, isn't it? In 16, Kevin O'Gorman sent this in. Oh my God. Days. At least you found the drain clock at the top there, mate, but you definitely spelt it out correctly there. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Who would leave that in there? Who would concrete over all of that? Ugh, you know what? I actually do know some builders locally who probably would, but I'm not going to name any names. I did find it funny that in the comments, you guys thought this might even be Russian propaganda. Ha! <laughs> in 17, new start Matt 84 sent us through a picture of him and his mates going out for a few beers. I do love those little bats of big you can get where you can try three thirds of a pint just to get a feeling for what you want. Hopefully one of you there is going to finish off your chips. It looks like you had a bit of mushy peas as well. One of you is drinking Coca-Cola though. Anyway, there's a flu watching over the whole proceedings. It's safe to say this local restaurant has some smoking features in their outside area. <laughs> In 18, T. Dayton Plumbing found this beast here. We've got some flexi Fridays going down to a shonky shower. It doesn't matter because you just use some of that random outdoor PVC stuff to make good the massive hole you've made behind those tiles that I also don't really like. No one's going to notice though, are they? Nothing to see here. I hope the customer didn't pay real money for this because this is awful. In 19, I don't know what's more satisfying in life as a plumber than finding genuine plumbing mistakes on TV, especially when it's on the set of a national institution like Coronation Street. Have you spotted it yet? Well, it's that flu in the background, obviously. Thanks ever so much for sending that over, Lloyd WL Heating. A great find, and I was particularly amused to see in the comments on Instagram the amount of people that also saw it but didn't take a photo in time. You lot are Coronation Soap mad. And finally, in at 20 from Dre Pemby on Instagram. This hashtag rude rad trying to climb its way up the stairs. I don't know what's worse, the radiator, the faux tiles that always seem to be in old people's houses, or that lovely 1970s carpet. Functional because it doesn't show the muddy paw prints of a plumber going up the stairs without putting up a dust sheet. Let's hope the bleed for that radiator is at the top. <laughs> Yes, I realise I look like a Teletubby. So gang, I hope you found all of that enlightening. Make sure you don't get featured in these videos by watching our other plumber parts, DIY tutorials, sexy how-tos, and follow me do random things like the bath, fix bits and bobs around the house and all that sort of stuff. See you in the next video, guys. We've got one going out on Saturday that I think you're going to absolutely love, all about how to insulate your hot water tank to save energy and then doing a monitoring before and after. Until then, click this like, click the subscribe, and I'll see you later. Hold tight!